Hello, YouTube. Today, I need to work on the brakes on my Alice Chalmers 180. The brake on this side, the left side, grabs. Uh, now it grabs and locks up. It's gotten to the point where I can't really use the tractor anymore. And the reason it got that way is my own damn fault. The first day that I was baling hay this summer, I got off the baler several times to check the tension on the bales. And one of the times when I got off the tractor and got back on, somehow I left the brakes locked on. The brakes on this thing, they're not locked now, but there's a lever here. And to unlock the brakes, you just push down on that pad to push the lever forward and kick the brake pedals and it will unlock. And either I didn't kick the pedal hard enough or I forgot to kick the pedal. Uh, anyway, I screwed up and drove a while with the brakes locked. And this one must have been uh, adjusted a little bit tighter on the other side because this the other side came out of it all right. But this side is screwed up now. I screwed it up, so now I'm going to have to fix it. So to get to the brakes on these things, I need to take the tire and wheel off and then pull the final drive. So that's first uh, the first order of business. I need to get the, uh, get the wheel off, and this is loaded. It does have fluid in it, so hopefully I can... Uh, manhandle it and lean it up against this post here. If not, I'll, uh, I will use my shop crane. This is, uh, what I intend to use to get the final drive off. I'm here in the back end of my barn. This is, uh, this is where my combine usually lives, but I needed a place with a good, uh, a good hard surface where I could use the shop hoist. So I took the combine out and brought the tractor in here. Uh, so yeah, the back part of my barn here, it's, uh, it's a house for the combine, otherwise just kind of general storage. And, uh, the other end of the barn through that walk-in door is my little shop where I usually work during the wintertime and do my projects. But anyway, this is what I have to do today, so I guess I'll get started on it. Well, after a little bit of an argument, we've got the tire and wheel off. And the guy I bought this tractor from, he said he had had it for about a year and he got it from an old guy who'd had it from a long, for a long, long time. But he told me that he had had the final drive off the right side and had uh, redone the brakes. And when I looked at the tractor, I saw that there were all new cotter keys in the hydraulic linkage there. So I thought, uh, well, it could be so. And looking in here, uh, yeah, it's all, it's clean. The, uh, the pin there has been moved. It looks like it has a new lining in it. So I think he was probably uh, probably straight with me there. But on this left side, uh, there's it's kind of dirty. There's no grease, so it doesn't look like the seal is bad. But I will move this back and forth, and you can hear that the expander is doing some rattling that it had not ought to be doing. So I don't know if that uh, came over on the audio, but uh, yeah, that uh, it had not to be doing that. So I guess now I will get the uh, shop crane over here and see if I can get this final drive off. All right, I'm under the tractor unhooking the brake control rod here. There's a uh, the spring which I just unhooked goes onto this tab. And uh, there's a clevis here that I need to pull the pin out of. And I did see something interesting underneath uh, the tractor here that I did not notice before. Uh, again, just to review, this is the uh, control rod that activates the brakes. As this clevis here it goes on to the shaft that goes to the other side. And on the other side, uh, we got the brake control rod here, but uh, there is no clevis. Someone has, in fact, welded a bolt onto the end of the rod and put it through here and uh, has the uh, the spring attached this couple links of chain on the other side of the bolt and 
this uh, the spring is actually supposed to on, be hooked on here. So ah, I don't know when that happened. That's more than just a little sketchy. Uh, yeah, that's something I'm going to be addressing uh, before this project is all over and done. So in case you're wondering, no, balls are not supposed to drop out of that thing when you take it apart. Some of you uh, who are not familiar with these tractors might be wondering, does it have disc brakes or does it have drum brakes? And the answer is yes. <laughs> it has a combination. It has a uh, expander here with, uh, with some linings. Uh, for a disc and it also has a drum and uh, and bands so it's kind of a hybrid but uh, this is this is one of the uh, one of the discs Let's see if I can get it loose here with one hand don't know if I will be able to Anyways. Another ball. Yeah, that, uh, that spring there doesn't look too good. So, there we go. So, uh, yeah. I guess this, uh, this explains why it was uh, locking up and grabbing and just not acting like it's supposed to. So, let me get the rest of this thing apart. Okay, we've got things apart here. And like I said, this is a, uh, a drum slash disc brakes. Uh, the way this works, the band, when you hit the brakes, the band tightens this up and then the band tightening that, uh, putting pressure on it, is, causes the expander to expand and also puts pressure on the side. And there's supposed to be a lining here, which, uh, but like that, and the lining is gone. And this surface here that the lining rides on does not look too good. Looks like it needs to be replaced. Uh, the lining on this side, is still quite a bit left. That rides on the inside in there, and that doesn't look too bad. That looks like it'll be all right. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not feeling quite so bad now. The fact that uh, someone had to uh, redo the brakes on the other side, to me, means that the brakes on this side probably were getting pretty close to uh, needing replacement anyway. And uh, yeah, having to pull the final drive off of this thing to do a brake job, uh, it's not as easy as a lot of other tractors, but if someone has uh, owned WD-45s or D-17s like I have, we kind of understand that this is just the nature of the beast. So that's probably enough. I'll, I'll, make, uh, I'll make this part one of this brake repair video. I'll have to go in the house, have some lunch now, and get on the interwebs and see if I can rustle up some parts. So until part two, everyone out there stay safe and we'll see you later.